Greetings, Zero here. Welcome back to the Seal Montype run of Eevee Emerald. Last time we did some backtracking, laying us battles and trainers to pick up some items we couldn't before. This time, it's largely more of the same, starting with Granite Cave. So, those of you back who've seen episode 5 may remember a certain mudslide. The first of the type that you encounter in the game. Well, now we can go up it with the mock bike. And now, it's time for a bit of a floor puzzle. Okay. Ah! Damn input lag! Oh, yeah, there's an item here. A repel. Well, that's useful. You know what? I'm gonna make this easier on myself. Ah, damn it! I hate this. I hate mock bike puzzles. Uh, we'll... well, fuck you too, Repel. I was hoping no, I could just go right over. Guess not. Ah! I. Fuck you, game. I swear to God. I... I hate this. I hate this. And the worst part is there are way worse puzzles than this. You know what? I'm just gonna cut until I succeed at this. So you don't waste any more time. Finally, for fuck's sake! Oh, and now the repel wears off. Thanks. Hmm, Sableye. Now there's a Pokemon with an interesting gimmick when it came out. It was a Ghost and Dark type. Back in Generation 3, that meant it had no type weaknesses. This was kind of offset by the fact that its stats were kind of mediocre, if I can be frank. Oh. Right, uh... You know what? We're gonna make this easier on myself. Ah! Fuck off! Okay, you know, once again, we're gonna cut until I succeed at this. Okay, that wasn't as painful. That only took two tries. And reward for effort is a rare candy. And another Everstone. I'll be frank, not really worth it. And we're back topside. So, now we finally move on. And keep going east. There's a bunch more trainers and also... Well, the more observant among you may have noticed back in episode 6 that there was a ship that we passed. And we're going to be checking that out. In fact, that's kind of the main focus of this episode. We can't do everything that there is to see on that ship the first time around. We'll have to come back after we get access to dive for that. But there's still a fair bit we can get. So, which is actually pretty nice. You hate this. You should have seen what I was doing a couple minutes ago down in that cave. Take this guy on. I think this is the second tra Wait, didn't another trainer say the, the exact same pre-battle line? I think those are the very last episode, in fact. Or am I misremembering things?
Okay. Now we have a double battle. Well, you always lose, you say, huh? Well, I don't think you're going to be breaking your streak anytime soon, little guy. Down you go. Yep. Always a jabroni, never a champion. Great. More tentacle with Zubat of the Sea. Do I have any more repels? I have a super repel. Okay. Not much, but it'll save me a little bit of my sanity, I guess. Yeah, all this water, that's the reason why I went to catch Magnemite before I did all the backtracking. And you go. I wouldn't take a snooze in the middle of the ocean if I were you, dude. Nope. Didn't pick anything up. Now I think about it, I should probably... Yeah. There we go. Moving on. To the double battle. Down you go. Oh, it was great for me. Can't say the same for you. Lock-on's only really worth taking if you're going to run it with Zap Cannon. Even then, frankly, I'd rather just run Thunderbolt. Hell, I'd rather run Thunder. If I just wanted a guaranteed to hit electric type attack, I would just run Thunder with Rain Dance. In fact, I may end up using that combo later. We'll see. Actually, it probably wouldn't be such a good idea because eventually I'll have to take on Wallace and uh, Wallace uses water types. And again, Wallace tends to use Rain Dance a lot, so it's an option. 
especially if I decide to fill the sixth slot on my team with a second ma with a Magnemite, because, well, can't run two Magneton because of my rule set. And finally, we arrive at the abandoned ship. Now, this was replaced in the remake with what they called Seamawville. Seamawville was basically a converted, like an oil rig? Now, in Seamawville, you could find Spiritu, along with evidence that Professor Cosmo is a deadbeat dad, but that's besides the point. Here, it's just a ship. It's called the SS Cactus, if I recall correctly. Hope you enjoyed that, because it's going to cost you. Down you go. Yeah, there's quite a few trainers on this ship. Not sure what they're all here for. get harbor mail so again if you didn't get the one in uh, the trick in the trick house or buy one I guess that's how you get the coin case hmm. it is kind of a cool environment yeah I could see that okay this guy is gonna use fighting types I'm not gonna give you the satisfaction of knocking some of my Pokemon out Seal has a really long animation for some reason. There you go. And we're about to hit the 10 minute mark. So, cut. And we're back. up this time. Got a great ball. Okay. Won't say no to that. Over here we get an escape rope. Now, remember this pool of water in the room to the right. Once you get dive and the seventh badge, you can come back here and explore the rest of the ship. Here we get a dive ball. This is a Pokeball that gives you an increased catch rate if you're underwater. Although, I think in other generations where you can't dive, it just affects Pokemon that are either caught surfing or fishing, or maybe just water types in general. I can't remember exactly how it works. That's a really cool looking Pokeball. I'm suspecting this is going to be a longer episode, kind of like the last one. The last one was like, what, 27 minutes long? Not the longest so far. The longest I've recorded at, up to this point is around 32 minutes long. That was all the way back when I was trained to beat Watson. I think that was left. That was episode... Ah, I don't remember.
There you go. And you're up to level 40. There's five more before you evolve. In fact, theoretically, I could just give it five rare candies as soon as I get to the Pokemon Center and evolve it right now, but... Eh, I won't do that. There's no need for that. Let's swap you out. Oh, got another item. What'd you get this time? Repel. Mm, okay. We get a revive. There's another couple right here. Yeah, there's a lot of trainers on this ship, huh? Granted, part of the reason this one is going to be so long is because I kept fucking up with the damn bike earlier. Was that your best shot? Here's mine. Yeah, I don't think so. Mm hmm I am. Hmm. Why would you register me for beating you? Actually, better question. Do I even want to know the answer to that? Oh, wait. Yeah, all right. I never fought you. Never mind. But, anyway, the reason I kept going all the way up here is, well... First, you talk to this guy. And... Forget, there's somewhere around here that tells you what the name of the ship is. But, as I said earlier, it's Essence Cactus. And that storage key... takes you back down... and open up a door in the basement. Inside of which... is a free Ice Beam TN. We might use that later. Anyways, I will see you topside. And we're back. Moving on to the east. There's a whole lot more trainers we gotta fight. And a couple more items. That Magneton is caught up with Skarmori level wise. I really need a better ground type move. I mean, I could teach it dig, but I'm holding on to that for later. There's a reason I'm holding on to it. Oh, okay. Oh. 
Oh, fuck you. Fuck you! Yeah, we got a paralyzed heal. Oh, I'll use that. Go down. There we go. There we go. Oh, buck up. And you were guarding a star piece. Honestly, not worth it. Let's heal real quick. And move on. It's not just that there's so many water routes in Hoenn, it's just the sheer amount of trainers on these routes that makes them really, really tedious. But it's experience and money, so I'll take it. And there's a bunch of items out here, some of which are actually worth getting. around him already. And now we have another double battle. Oh, great. She's a valley girl. Hmm. I do quite a few of those growing up. Dust Ox could be annoying because it might just spam attacks, but eh, not this time, I guess. go. Hang on. Oh, there is an item here. Heart scale. Hmm. Fitting. There's a couple more items here. There's at least one that I know of for sure. Another double battle. I know this is really dragging on, it's just, there's just so many trainers on these water routes. I think that's probably one of the biggest complaints about Gen 3 is it just, these segments can drag on and on. Granted, most of them are optional, but still, 
the fact that you're constantly having to deal with wild encounters, it gets tedious. At this rate, we may have a new record for the longest episode. Just die, will ya? Good, now stop wasting my time. No, you're not. You're really not cool. Nope. Now, unlike most of the other items out here, this one's actually worth picking up. Power point up. Again, without pickup, there's a finite number of those. And we have yet another swimmer. Do I have any more repels? Shit. Nope, this is gonna get really, really tedious unless... Nope. Oh my god, just... So... many... trainers and their shitty water types. I may have to actually cut some of this out just because of how long this is. Shut up! Go away. Bro, you don't even have a six pack. Or what abs? In fact, he's got, I don't know, he's got like a bit of a beer belly going on. got a muffin top. See? What abs? I'm actually gonna run out of power points for my electric type attacks just because of how many damn water types and trainers I've fought between Doofer Town and now. I think this is like the last trainer. Okay, come on. Yep. Now, just in case... Oh, got another item. Ape rope. 
useless. And we finally made it back to the beach. Man, this took forever in a day. Anyway, if you like what you see, comment, subscribe, check out my Rumble page. And we will see you all next time.